Mavia game. So this game is going to be insanely fun and I'm literally on the edge of excitement to see this game come out. Because I'm always surprised on how unwell known this game is actually. Because it has a lot of check in the boxes of what a blockchain game should be. So here, I will explain what this game is and its perks, its ecosystems, the token monetary policy, and how you can get involved with this game. So Mavia Game. This game is basically coming from SK Rights, which is a game design development studio that focuses on blockchain gaming. This is where an acquisition of two studios in Vietnam began with developing an arts and after that started they were funded and are currently adding people to their developing team. So fun fact, they have around 45 people who developed their trailer. That's a large team for that portion of the project, which is exciting to see how many people are actually creating this project on a large scale. So one main goal is to develop a triple A game, a high quality game. And this game is really showing that by this, by this presentation. So first thing is disclaimer, uh, this isn't financial advice. This is only educational and entertainment content. So invest at your own risk and on to the next slide. Okay, so the team here, Yivan Fees, he's basically the executive producer. Then you have Nihan Kan, who is the chief technology officer. And Tristan Chowry is the managing director and he was the one that was mainly on Discord AMA video informing the public of the latest news about Mavia. And on the about sections, you have this game that will be like a universe with a feel of overreach and a little bit of sci-fi. Um, they are going to have animals, robots, a lot of different diversified characters in this game. You basically compete for real cryptocurrency that we'll discuss later about. And you can purchase rent and partner with landowners to earn rewards. So notice that I sent rent because that's also coming up. Now, as far as partners, uh, you basically have a lot, basically they have a lot of partners. Here they have Binance Lab, Genblock Capital, Yield Guild. They also have Alameda Research. Alameda is owned by the myth, the legend, Saint Bankman, who is a crypto billionaire. He owns FTX and he is a huge puzzle piece to this crypto revolution. So good partner right there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, could be a good sign for Solana as well. They might be able to use Solana because Alameda Research is all about that. Now, as far as game basics. Now, Mavia is basically a fantasy themed island. Um, again, called Mavia. You're basically the commander of your own land. Uh, your base and you grow it by gaining resources that is gold, oil, ruby, which is the cryptocurrency in the game. Mavia has a dual token model, which we'll look into later. And as far as followers, so Mavia is not advertising yet, but they are getting there. Their Twitter is currently at 4.9 and their Discord is at 7.2 thousand. Believe it or not, I swear I went on here yesterday and the Discord was literally at 4 thousand. So I don't know if it was my eyes or if this could just completely raised higher, but now we have actually recorded and we'll see how farther it goes. So they just started YouTube. They only have 25 followers, but again, they haven't started advertising yet. So that will be coming out. Um, now this is a first I'm um, seeing a company that starts advertising through YouTube and social media. So it kind of reminds me of the Charles Hoskinson giving daily or weekly updates about his project. So it'll be cool seeing this kind of same style here with this project. So very cool sign here. Um, as far as game details. So in the game, you can earn while you are sleeping. You don't have, you don't even have to play the game. That's basically passive income by your base defending itself. And if there are damages that's less than 33%, you will be rewarded with Ruby, which is also an interesting idea. Um, you can, you basically can earn while you sleep. Um, there's, there's also a match, there's, there's also a match skill level where the game's algorithm will match you with another equal player. So if you suck in the game, you'll be matched with someone else that sucks as well. So it's equally fair enough. May the less suckiest player win. And on top of that, the more ruby you earn, the more you invest in your base by building defensive and offensive structures and weapons, the better it is. This in general puts more ruby into the Malvia ecosystem, which then brings more value to the game for all players. So here's an analogy. When you buy your home's real, real home, you tend to want to upgrade your home, a nice landscape outside, build a pool for the kids, maybe finish the basement into a nice living room. So you've increased your home value and that value of the home next to you also increases. So this is where really this ecosystem builds upon 
because you're putting more value into your base. So that's like the that's like the similar analogy right there for the ecosystem. You can build your infantry units, you can upgrade your walls and towers, you can deploy decoys, upgrade your your basically your heroes, which has special hat powers. So really cool stuff. Now, as far as token econ economics, um, the main token here is is basically Mavia. It's it's the blue one it's because it is the governance token to buy sell NFTs in the game. You get staking rewards, you get prizes, um, could be used to vote for adjustments. We don't know what yet that, that will come up with the adjustments, maybe APY, maybe tweaks to different selling rates. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But they did mention that there will be adjustments, so we just don't know yet. Now, as, um, with the Mavia token, you can obtain new heroes, uh, a section of land. Uh, it's not an in-game resource. Um, that's where the ruby comes in, which is the red one. Ruby token is basically more for utility. It's like the blood of the game. It connects the organs, the heart, the brain of the game, the game and currency. You can upgrade your NFTs with it. Um, basically, you can withdraw from the game, but you'll but there's there's there's, there's a little catch on that. You can emulate skins, gems. Um, when people buy ruby or they get consumables, the ruby will be burned, which brings value to the end gamers. So cool. Now, as far as NFTs. Okay, so you got land, you got heroes, and you got statues. Uh, land is to basically build a base. Um, your base is basically gonna be like your wealth builder. You can monetize the base you um, by buying, selling bases, running out bases. Means you're going on vacation, you can rent it out to someone who doesn't have the money to buy a base. They pay you a fixed mafia token supply. Um, but if they earn ruby, they, they basically keep it, it's all theirs but it's because you know, you're not there, you're renting it. So there's also um, base partnerships. So the owner can do like a 75, 25 Ruby profit contract. They can use the base for free. It requires no capital. So this seems to be like a good way if you're partnering with a good player. Um, in real life, it's like, it's like your rental property. You check the tenant's credit history. You check his salary. Uh, you know you're not going to have a great tenant and, and the payback is the same with this game and stats. So when running out the base, the other player can upgrade the building so they can rearrange everything, but you can save your original layout um, before the person partners with it. Basically, there's, there's nothing that the tenant can do to harm you. All the stats like losses and wins is attached to the player, not, not the base. Now, in the end, the tenant is going to want to upgrade um, your base because you you know they also want to get ruby out of it. So the, the more they upgrade the base, the more ruby that comes out. So it's also like an incentive. Okay, so now heroes, you can place four heroes at a time on your base. They basically help you in attacking and defending against the enemies. They can be bought with Mavia tokens and upgraded with ruby to increase stats. Um, you can buy skins which stays with the hero forever. So heroes are tr uh, basically trackable. Anyone can, you know, can see who are the best heroes. You can buy as many heroes as you want. Uh, statues is, is the same as heroes where only four can be implemented on the base. You can have clock statues. You can have, you know, um, which basically speed up troop training time. You can have rate of producing gold. Um, there's so many different ways you can use statues and they are nfts as well okay so the ecosystem um basically so first what you need to understand is that there's there's a positive and then there's a negative pressure that balances the system it's a very beautiful system and i will explain how how this basically works to enter the ecosystem you have to buy mavia it's it's the blue line here where you can where you can buy nfts um the blue line is the positive pressure the red line is the is the negative pressure so here you buy mavia and when you buy mavia you buy nfts with mavia and then when you um, buy these nfts you can either sell them or you can earn ruby in the game and new ruby will be minted and then after that then you can upgrade nfts with the ruby and then the spent ruby will be burned so Basically, um, how, how this works is that when, when, when you have a, the positive and negative energy, it kind of balances out. So in the game, uh, basically what you're doing is you, you, you burn ruby, you, you spend ruby, you earn mint, spend, burn, mint, earn, mint, spend, burn. 
so it keeps it balanced and <clears throat> and another way to earn it is to is, is to earn ruby is by buying it so if you buy ruby uh let's say through metamask you will get a 10 percent deposit bonus like a casino incentive but if you decide to sell it you have a negative 15 percent withdrawal fee now why why did they do this it's because they want to sell through the positive pressure which is to reinvest the ruby through the nfts and then sell the nfts through mavia token that's how they want you to exit the ecosystem so they want you to they want you to exit the ecosystem by using this blue line so they don't want you to withdraw ruby because if you draw ruby you'll get a withdrawal fee but not just that it's it's, it's putting selling pressure on the ruby the ruby is for in-game use so what they want you to do is to basically transfer the ruby buy an nft and then with the nft you sell it you sell it and then you exit out through the blue line because it, it, it <clears throat> because the mavia token is the governance token it has more liquidity and it has less selling pressure so that is that is an amazing type of system i, I really like it and i can't wait to see it you know <clears throat> basically in working in the game so um other than that just to add uh, they can increase the rates or deposits withdrawals at any moment um, <clears throat> basically here they can they can they can use a leverage if they need it or they can put one they can put more percentage on deposit bonuses if needed um, they can put a fee on here if they need or a fee in, 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 in there as well so they have different ways of just um, basically controlling the system and um that is also great because there's the system if if something does happen to the system um there should be no worries because people can make it run back again now as the web platform this is cool because as you can see there there are tabs for your properties your ruby your ledger your notification this kind of reminds me of fundrise with properties uh, I, I love this web interface. I feel like I'm a land manager if I'm staring at this and checking out my rental properties because you know you can see property here, you can see ledger, um, <coughs> oops, and you can see ledger notification, favorites. Uh, I, I just find this 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 look really cool. Now, as far as the marketplace, um, this is where you exchange NFTs. You can see a tab for bases, heroes, and statues. Uh, you, you so those so the way you want to rent your NFTs is to buy this technology called NFT rental wrapping. Uh, the tenant basically does not have your original base, but it's like it's like wrapped like a clone. And then this is where you check the stats on NFTs and tenants. So so right here you can see like you know you could the activity, the news, um, sale type, price range. Also you got one for bases, heroes, statues, really cool stuff. One of the questions is, you know, when can we participate in land sale? White list sales, um, it'll, it'll be like in a week or so, probably in um, quarter one. Uh, one note is, <clears throat> on, yeah, on quarter one, so we gotta stay updated in Discord. Oh, and uh, on one note, whales cannot dominate the game like in other games. The player with more gems cannot win every match. The player with the most ruby cannot win. It requires skill. Skills is the requirement. You damn whales. So that's one great thing about this game. It's skills. So um, another question is if you know if there will be a limited amount of bases that will exist, will it increase? Well, there's a total of hundred thousand total bases um, divided into the jungle, desert, um, Antarctica. Um, it will be released at different time frames, like every three months. New heroes, new you know um will come out um and then eventually it'll reach to a hundred thousand so in the beginning they're planning on releasing about like five thousand in the woods but slowly they will keep increasing it um one other thing is that it's going to be on a desktop and mobile browser and also ios and android app crazy crazy stuff great stuff now as far as tokenomics there was a private there's there's a private sale of 15 percent um, I believe it's all done. There's also about 250 million Mavia tokens, and that's it. Uh, play to earn, there'll be about 10%, and stake and rewards is about 25% uh, from this tokenomics. And the roadmap. So 
here, as you can see, here's the roadmap, but pay attention to quarter one. Um, quarter one is basically the main one that you want to look at because you don't want to miss this. Uh, you, you basically have quarter four, which is currently happening, but quarter one is where the Mavia token launch happens. Staking pools go live, land, hero, and statue NFT sales. This, <clears throat> this is the time frame, January, February. We got look deep into Discord. Then after that, you have uh, quarter two, uh, which is basically alpha beta testing um, with the web platform. And then you have quarter three, which is the public beta launch. And then you have quarter four, um, which is the Mavia global launch, uh, which will be the Ruby token launch, gameplay balancing launch, additional NFT releases. But quarter one, that's the main one we gotta look at in the next two months, because that's when you can really get those gems before the game launches. Now, um, <clears throat> with this game, just some side things, there will be a free to play system. Uh, the main island will be capped at, again, 100,000 bases. The main island is basically a high barrier to entry, so you need skills or investment to enter that island. Um, you basically have to put in work. In addition, it's going to be built on Arbitrum, which is the layer two on Ethereum. Uh, <clears throat> main reason they did this because it lowers the gas fee, which is a great thing. They could possibly add Ruby to another chain later, maybe Solana or Avalanche. Um, it's also on Binance Smart Chain. And for NFTs, uh, it, it will also be listed on OpenSea as well. Uh, overall, I really love the presentation. This game's look fantastic. They have some big investors in this game and I am keeping an eye out for the whitelist. Uh, so just, there's a link below on the Discord if you wanna look at it, if you wanna be active on it. Um, so make sure you get on that whitelist because that's my plan. Anyways, I hope you like this content. Like and subscribe below if you wanna see more and support this channel. I also created a Patreon if anyone wants to hang out in our new community. First that come will enjoy huge benefits as the community grows. There will be also Discord created in the future and you'll be able to enter for free for first come first serve members as we grow. So much love, take care everyone, and peace.